All right, next up, we have angles in a quadrilateral question. However, this is a proof question. They ask you to prove something. And I know I always bang on about showing you're working out. Okay, but look what the mark scheme says for this particular question. It's a proof question. So the work for the M1 mark must be seen before the A1 mark can be awarded. So you do not get any marks if the working out isn't spot on, all right? This is quite rare because usually um, you do your working out to protect yourself from any errors. But in this case, if your working out isn't on point, then you're going to lose the marks. Okay, so ABCD is a quadrilateral. ABC, now this is an angle, okay? It goes from A to B to C. So there's A to B to C. All right, so that's that angle there, and it's 93 degrees. They've put it in for me. That information's there. That's fine. BCD, so BCD is 122. They've put that in. And ADC is 85. All right, so they've put those angles in for me, but it's worth checking. Points P and Q. Well, where's P and Q? P and Q. So points P and Q lie on the quadrilateral, as shown, such that AP, and because there's only two letters there, that's a line. So AP is equal to AQ. Now that may have been shown on this as having a dash on each of those sides. If you see a dash, that means that they are equal. All right. And this has asked you to prove that triangle APQ. Notice how this is three letters. However, it doesn't have the little roof above the middle one, so it's not an angle this time. They're talking about the triangle enclosed by points A, P, Q. All right, they're not talking about the angle A, P, Q. So prove that this triangle is an equilateral triangle. You must show all your working out. All right, well, before I tackle this question, I'm going to look at this. There's a quadrilateral mentioned here, and that's the big one, D, C, B, A, D. And I know that a quadrilateral has angles that add up to 360 degrees. That's going to be important to me. And here they've mentioned an equilateral triangle. And that's special because three sides and three angles are equal. So let's have a look at proving this then. Well, first off, I'm going to deal with the quadrilateral issue. So there I've got a missing angle. I want to find it. So I'm going to call this angle B. A, D, so angle B, A, D, and the angle is, oops, the angle is at point A. So angle B, A, D equals, right, well, three, it's going to be 360, take away all of the other angles. So take away the 85, take away the 120, take away the 93. So I'm going to show that as 360, take away 85, add 122, Add 93. This is a non calc paper. So that equals 360 take away what they add up to, and they add up to 300. So 360 take away 300 equals 60 degrees. So angle A is 60 degrees. Now, already alarm bells are starting to ring for me because remember, ultimately, the question wants me to prove that triangle APQ is an equilateral triangle. Now, in an equilateral triangle, it said the three sides were equal, but also the three angles are equal. And of course, a triangle adds up to 180 degrees, and 180 split between three equal angles is going to give you 60 degrees. These are just facts that you need to know, especially as you sit in an intermediate paper. So 60 degrees is the angle of an equilateral triangle. Now, in order to prove it's equilateral, I need to look at this angle and this angle and prove that they are also 60 degrees. Now, what I know about this triangle is that these are equal lengths. And that means that it's an isosceles triangle. I know we're trying to prove it's equilateral, but at the moment, let's just deal with the fact that I've got definitely an, equal, uh, an isosceles triangle, where that's 60 degrees. And with an isosceles triangle, the two bottom angles are always equal to each other. So in order to find out what the two missing angles are on an isosceles triangle, I would do 
the 180 degrees of the full triangle, take away the 60 degrees that I've found, that leaves me with 120 degrees. And that 120 degrees needs to be divided by the two angles I'm trying to find. And that gives me 60 degrees per angle. So that's 60 degrees and that's 60 degrees. And as if by coincidence, 360 degree angles is what is special about an equilateral triangle. Now at this point, I've gained four marks because I've shown method and answer. And I've shown method and answer. So to get the final mark, it's an E mark. And they want you to make a statement to show them that you've understood what's going on here. So basically a statement to show them that you are aware that three angles shown equal 60 degrees and equilateral and again if you're not sure of spelling look up because it's written in the question it's not worth losing a mark just because you haven't bothered to check the spelling so equal lateral triangle so three angles shown equal 60 degrees and an equilateral triangle has three angles equal to 60 degrees all right it's not enough to say that you've been told aq and ap are equal and therefore you're just guessing that pq is equal that's not going to get you any marks all right